Kingdom Messenger Network, the global gateway for ministry online, presents Magnify the Message Video Ministry of the Day. Day. Well, I'd like to bring you part two of the Window of Destiny that we talked about last week. If you haven't had a chance, check it out. We're basing it from Acts chapter 20, verses 7 through 12. The story about Eutychus sitting at the window in a well-lit room at Troas as Paul was... Uh, uh, preaching and sharing. They were preparing the Last Supper for as Paul was going to leave the next day. If you remember, he was sitting on the window. He fell asleep, fell out, fell dead. Paul came down, raised him up by the power of the living Christ in him, brought him back to life. And of course, they were quite refreshed and rejoiced, overjoyed that uh, Eutychus had life. And we related to, to this, in this video, this is what I want to share with you, this video ministry, is some keys for you so that you don't fall asleep and fall out of the window of your destiny. What can you do? It has to do, uh, the keys that I came had to do with the acronym SAT. The first one, S, Eutychus could at least stood on his feet. Stand, Eutychus. You know, there are so many great places in Scripture where God is telling us to stand firm. Above all that you've done, to stand. Check out Ephesians 6, talking about the full armor of God, the being able to put on the breastplate of righteousness, shod your feet with the gospel of peace. And at the very end, what does it say? It says in uh, Verse 13, and have done all to stand, stand therefore. Some other great scriptures about for you to stand. 1 Corinthians 16, 13, I love this. Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Check this out, 1 Corinthians 1, 24, for by faith you stand. Or 1 Peter 5, verse 12, True grace of God that is in you, in which you stand. So my first word, stand firm in your faith. Above all, to take your stand, to bank it on the word. You know the good thing? You can stand on the rock, you can shake on the rock, but the rock Jesus never shakes. Then you get to A, which is act, which is move. Go in a direction that God's called you. Keep moving. It may mean you have to learn a new skill. It may mean you have to practice that skill. Uh, you know, I believe if you look at Eutychus, I believe he could have not just have stood, I believe he could have moved had precise movement where he could still have been in the anointing, still could have heard the Word of God and moved. You know, they were preparing the Last Supper. He could have helped and still been able to hear. That, for certainly, if he's standing and then moving, uh, he's not going to fall asleep. What is God saying to you about that? I love the scripture in 2 Corinthians, uh, excuse me, Second Kings chapter 4 about the widow who had two sons. The debtors were coming to take her sons because she was so in debt. She said to Elisha, you know, asking, crying out for help. And what did Elisha say? First he says, what do you have in the house? She had a jar of vessel. And then he told specific actions that she could take to rectify her situation. And I love it. That widow did that. He said, gather all the vessels you can and not just a few. So she went and she moved. She acted on that word. She gathered the vessels. And then he told her to pour. I think a key thing that this widow did is she closed the door and then she began to pour. You might have to close the door to people who are doubting you. You may have to close the door to doubters because you know God says this is going this action could help you in your situation whether it's your finance or it's your marriage. So close the door to those doubters and move and act and do what God's called you to do. The final one, S-A-T, is talk. It's talk to your situation. Speak the Word of God to what is lacking. Speak the Word of God to your situation and then move on as if it already happened. You know, it's a powerful word as we know. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I love the story in, uh, in the Gospel where Jesus is going by a fig tree and the fig tree wasn't bearing figs, so he basically he spoke to you, from now on you shall bear no fruit, and they went on. A day later they came back, and Peter noticed, look, the fig tree is withered. 
Jesus wasn't surprised. He spoke the word and it happened. But Jesus, he had a powerful word of action for us. And I love it. It's one of my favorite verses. It's talking about after that fig tree, he says, Have faith in God. Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he acts. We're looking in Mark 11 on those verses. So you may have to look at your situation. You look at your lack. Look at your marriage problem. Look at your bank account and speak to it. And then go on as if what you spoke has already happened. You know, we have the power of the living God in us. I love it. It's in Hebrews 3 1 says, we are called partakers of the Heavenly Father Jesus being the Apostle and the High Priest of our confession. Jesus is the High Priest of what you confess out of your mouth. You know, it also says that if we confess Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. Powerful words in confession. To confess something, you got to speak it out. It gets out of your uh, mouth, out in the air. It comes back through your ears and goes down into your heart. If you, as you speak the word of God, God, the word of God will not return void. Do you see where I'm getting with this? Shoo, hallelujah. So speak. You know, for such a time as this, God is raising you up. God, the, the world is looking for some true believers, not religious, churchy people. He's looking for people who are going to walk the talk and speak the talk. We're in a battle right now, and we believe you're a part of the answer. As God raises you up for such a time as this, as God brings you to that window of destiny, that vision you know God's called you to, some of you, you want to be able to have the freedom to feed the poor, to feed the homeless. Some some of you have an addiction recovery program. You want to be free to move in that program. Some of you have the call, an evangelistic call of Jesus, and you want to be able to be free to go where God's called you. Hold fast. Stand, therefore. Act. Keep moving by faith and keep speaking the Word of God to your situation. We're an army. We're, we are an army. We're in this together. And I'll tell you what, Firebrand Dave, Pastor Dave Croft, and myself, we're committed to continue to speak the Word of God. You know, there may be a day where the only way you're going to get the Word is not on television, but on the line. We're committed to be a part of the team, part of the answer, part of people that are speaking the Word, anointed words of life to you. If you enjoyed this Magnify the Message video ministry of the day and you're ready to spread your message to the nations, get the complimentary video web help guide. Simply go to GodsMediaTV.com.